the Lord. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Good morning. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you, Sunset Lily. Good morning to you. Good morning, EW3. God bless you. again good morning good morning good morning can you guys hear me see me okay is that all right amen glory to god amen thank you thank you thank you good morning team howell god bless you ah. <laughs> amen well praise god amen it's it's indeed an honor and a privilege uh to be or to return back into your hearing and your viewing, Amen. I got get to, I get to see your uh, your names pop up, Amen. I, I bless God for you guys, Amen. Um, again, feel like it's been a while, uh, but grateful uh, for this time that I get to come and, and to share, and um, again, looking forward to 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 the Word of God. Um, I believe there there is a word from the Lord, and I'm prayerful. Uh, that things have been well with you guys and uh, that you've been taking good care of yourself and despite the hardships of life uh, that you continue to persevere to trust God and know that hey it's going to be all right amen that that the end of a thing uh, is better uh, than the beginning of a thing and so um, but again uh, praying God's best concerning each of you and thank you again God bless you big sis Carissa amen uh, thank you for joining us. Amen. Um, having said all that, uh, I do want to take the time to uh, once again um, thank everybody that that, that supports uh, this particular ministry. Um, you know, just so many of you to, you know, to name names, but um, I'm grateful that you take the time um, to, to, to be with us. Um, and again, uh, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't try to give names because I don't want to miss anybody. <laughs> Amen. So, uh, but again, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, uh, there is again, there is a word from the Lord on this morning. So, if you would travel with me uh, to Second Samuel, Second uh, Samuel, the twenty-first chapter, Second Samuel, the twenty-first chapter. Once again, 2 Samuel, the 21st chapter. And as you know, um, I'm going to be reading from the New King James Version. Once again, 2 Samuel, the 21st chapter. 2 Samuel. Um, and this is not Samuel Adams. <laughs> Amen. But 2 Samuel. All right. Praise God. For those that don't know, this is Apostle Chauncey Craig of Discipling Ministries. The place where we're not concerned about a building, but the building of a people. Amen. Uh, we're located in the great city of Radcliffe, Kentucky. Uh, and I get the privilege of coming to you in this manner. Amen. From my home. Glory to God. <laughs> Amen. And I uh, still get to share this time with my beautiful wife. Amen. Of 33 years. Amen. And so we're grateful for, for, for marriage and for family. Um, and you, uh, my extended family. Amen. Uh, once again, 2 Samuel, the 21st chapter. 
Uh, Y'all know I struggle with these names, so bear with me. Glory to God. (laughs) Bear with me. Bear with me. Amen. I'm going to begin reading at the 15th verse. Once again, 2 Samuel, the 21st chapter, beginning at the 15th verse. It reads like this. When the Philistines were at war again with Israel, David and his servants with him went down and fought against the Philistines, and David grew faint. The Ishba Binah, who was one of the sons of the giant, the weight of whose bronze spear was 300 shekels, who was bearing a new sword, thought he could kill David. But Abishai, the son of Zariah, came to his aid and struck the Philistine and killed him. Then the men of David swore to him, saying, You shall go out no more with us to battle, lest you quench the lamp of Israel. Now it happened afterward that there was again a battle with the Philistines at Gob. Then Sabaki the Hushethite killed Saph, who was one of the sons of the giant. Again, there was a war at Gob with the Philistines, where Elhenan, the son of Jari, Oregon, the Bethlehemite killed the brother of Goliath, the Gittite, the shaft of whose spear was like a weaver's beam. Yet again, there was war at Gath, where there was a man of great stature who had six fingers on each hand and six toes on each foot, 24 in number, and he also was born to the giant. So when he defied Israel, Jonathan, the son of Shemeth, David's brother, killed him. These four were born to the giant in Gath and fell by the hand of David and by all the hand of his servants. Glory to God. Amen. So I read to us 2 Samuel, the 21st chapter, uh, verses 15 through 22. Now, if you like me in reading all those names, it, it kind of throws everything else off and you're trying to figure out, well, what is this really all about? Amen. And so, uh, but there is some meaning. Amen. There is some logic behind this thing. Amen. God bless you there this morning. Amen. Minister Thomas. Amen. And thank you. Amen. And so, uh, but there is some, 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 some things that are happening. There are some things that are transpiring here in these uh, verses. Amen. In these seven verses. And so, uh, again, so what we find, amen, is that uh, we find that David, amen, went out to war. Amen. And we, we know that, hey, uh, uh, it's talking about these uh, uh, giants that were, that, that, that were slain. Amen. And so for many of us, you know, we may feel like, well, that's 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 not that's not really important. We already kind of know that David, amen, uh, started this thing when he killed Goliath. And so, you know, we still talk about them, 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 them three smooth stones, amen, and all this other stuff. Amen. And so uh, but all that's relevant. Amen. Um, and so but what does that have to do with this particular story? And the thing that I would tell us is if you uh, notice when you came in, I'm, 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 I feel pretty confident. Not, not sh- I'm not sure because, again, I'm not, I'm not uh, watching myself. But there's a subject that comes up. Amen. And the subject for today's message is irregular and abnormal. Amen. Irregular and abnormal abnormal. And so that's what we're going to be talking to that. Amen. Irregular and abnormal. And so irregularities or abnormalities. Amen. Irregular, uh, abnormal. All right. And so when we consider the text today, amen, uh, what we find is that again, that these men were fighting against these giants. Amen. And so, um, 
that may again that may not sound like much. And so um, and so that if if again if you anything like me, you wanna well how and where did these giants come from? Why why would they be fighting against these giants? Amen. And so I don't want to go into a long you know a, a, a drawn out thing. I want to take us too far off. But the thing that I would tell us, Amen, is that um, Genesis uh, uh, the the sixth chapter um, begins to talk about this thing, or it tells us that there were some giants in the land. All right. And so this, you know, for those of us that believe and trust the Bible, we understand that. Hey, it, but it talks about these things being the sons of God. Amen. And so for those of us that, that have studied and looked at this thing, we know, amen, that uh, that there was some folk that were uh, uh, there were some angels that was cast down. <laughs> Amen. And so these angels was cast down and they were here on the earth. Amen. And so God created man and we find out, amen, again, if you go back to Genesis, that's it, it talks about how the sons of man uh, or the sons of God went unto the women of men. And so in other words, you have these angels that begin to have children with the women of human. Amen. And so these things are, were giants. Amen. And so this, this, this again. So it's telling us that, okay, so if the father is a giant, then some of the children too will be giants. And so we know that there were giants in the land. All right. So I just, that's all I want to give us on that and help us to understand that there were some giants. Amen. Uh, 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 before the flood. Amen. There, there were some giants after the flood. Amen. And so because we know that this thing is now in the Genes is now part of the people. It's not in the bloodline. <laughs> Amen. And so again, just want to help us out. Just want to help us out. Help, help, help us to, to, to grab this. Amen. And again, giants, 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 giants. So let's get back to the text. Glory to God. Amen. So again, irregularity or amen or irregular and abnormal. And so when we look at the text, again, it starts in verse 15. It says this. When the Philistines were at war with Israel, David and his servants uh, with him went down and fought against the Philistine, and David grew faint. Amen. And so it's important to understand, amen, that, that David was still the king, that David was a warrior, and David still, amen, what wanted to fight. But it said that he grew faint. Faint, amen. The, uh, now, 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 some of the uh, theologians they believe that they hey, David had already took out some, and he just got tired, amen. So he thought he was already fighting, and, and, and he just got tired, amen. And so even now in the military, amen, and, and we have this thing called R and R, amen, rest and relaxation, amen. In other words, you got to get away sometimes from the battle and rest a minute before you come back and fight some more. But what we find here is that David grew. Faint, amen. And so they begin to. Uh, and so what we what, what what we know now is that this thing, amen, is that uh, 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 it's believed that David was around sixty years old, amen. And for and, and in those times, that may not have seemed like a lot of years, amen. But to be out there fighting, to be on the front line, still fighting, amen, that meant something, amen. And so what happens is, look 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 what happens next, amen. So we know David grew faint, but look at this, sixteen. Then Ishba, Benah, who was one of the sons of the giant. Amen. One of the sons of the giant. Okay. So, 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 so the thing that I would tell us, we've already established that there was a giant. Amen. And so, but this, but that, that these were sons of the giant. Amen. It didn't say sons of a giant. Amen. But sons of the giant. Sons of the giant. Amen. And so follow me for a minute now. And so who is the giant? <laughs> Amen. Now this ain't the jolly green giant. Amen. But the giant. And the thing that I would tell us is that giant would what well, the name was Rafa. 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 Amen. And so Rafa, amen. And again, I'm just I'm just gonna give y'all a, 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 a just a little quick something, amen. Maybe, maybe some of y'all may know, amen, but I, I believe many that's in that's a part of the organization may or may not know, amen. But Rafa, 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 that was the name, amen, given to this particular giant or the giant. And so these are the sons of Rafa. All right, the sons of Rafa. And so for the let me, okay, I'm, I'm trying to make it plain now. So for those of us that are from Florida, amen, they call us Floridians. 
And so for those of us that are, are from Kentucky, amen, or live in Kentucky, or, 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 or citizens or, 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 of, of the state, amen, they call us Kentuckians. And so for those that are the, the, the sons of Rapha, amen, are Raphaians, amen. And so his sons, amen, they, they are Raphians, amen. And so you say, well, okay, what that got to do with anything? Ah, you just you just, just stick with the message, apostle. And I'm trying, and I'm trying, I'm, I'm really trying, but it's important that you grab this, amen. And so the, the thing that I would tell us again is that these are giants that's coming against Israel, that's coming against the, 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 the people of God, amen. And so Rapha, the, the giant, amen. The sons are, the, uh, and so the sons are, they, 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 their father is Rapha. Amen. They're the sons of the giant. Now, in the Masonic order, <laughs> amen, there was some, uh, 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 there, there was three, like, uh, what they call assassins, amen, uh, or, or what they, or what's commonly known as ruffians, ruffians. All right. And so, again, I ain't going to get on a long thing about that. But the thing I would tell you is that the ruffians, amen, this is this that name really came from ruffians. Amen. And so now they only use three. Amen. Because it's the number three is significant. Amen. To the order. OK. But the, the, but the assassins, the rough. And so we find out that these giants were assassins that they, against the house of. Israel, amen, against the people of Israel, okay, that may, that may not mean a whole lot to you, but Raphians, and so for those that hear that name, or heard that name, Raphians, amen, you, this, this is where it comes from, these, 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 these giants above people, okay, and so, it, 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 so listen, it says this, it says this, amen, that, that was a little, a free little nugget, amen, it says that Ishbabida, who was one of the sons of the giant, <laughs> amen, the weight of whose bronze spear was 300 shekels, okay, listen, I'm going to say it again, it says, the weight of whose bronze spear, all right, spear was 300 shekels, okay, this is just talking about the spear. This ain't talking about the axe head, amen, or the head of the spear. It's talking about the spear itself, amen, all right? And so it was about 300 shekels, and so it's believed that it was approximately 13 pounds, amen? And so, uh, 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 and so just, just, just for information, about 13 pounds. And so it's half the size of that which Goliath had, amen, because Goliath was believed to be around... Uh, 25 pounds or 24 pounds, excuse me. Amen. And so again, so about half the size, but that's a pretty heavy spear. All right. And so it says this, it says, who was bearing a new sword, thought he could kill David. Amen. And so he, so he had his spear, amen. And he, he, he was bearing a new sword and he said, hey, okay, I'm going to put this new sword on David, the one who's been killing the Philistines, the one who's been beating up on us, amen. The one who's been killed. Yeah. I'm going to put this new uh, uh, sword <laughs> on David. Amen. So he thought he could kill David, but look, look at verse 17. It says, but Abishai, the son of Zariah came to his aid. And struck the Philistine and killed him. Amen. And so you say, well, what that what that got to do with anything? What, what are you talking about, Apostle? What, 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 what does that really mean? And what, what does that have to do with irregular and abnormal? Amen. I'm getting there. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. And so, but what we find is that, amen, the, 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 that someone stepped up. Amen. And took care of David. <laughs> amen. And you say, well, why is that important? Amen. I'm glad you asked. The reason that's important is because we know that David was the first one, amen, that we find within the text that went out and took out, that went in and took out a giant. <laughs> that went, you see, because other people were shaken with fear. Other people were afraid to fight, but David slew Goliath. Amen. And so what it's telling us is that David started something. Glory to God. Amen. And so not only did David do it, but now there's some confidence in David's men. There's some confidence in those behind David that's willing to fight and have success against the giant. Are we hearing this today? Amen. Irregular. Abnormal. 
And so David has set a precedence, amen, but by his example, amen, he's, he, he's showing us, amen, that you can fight and win. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And so we find that, uh, 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 that, that this one, amen, uh, Abishai, amen, he stood up and he struck the Philistine and killed him, amen, even though he had a new soul. <laughs> he lost that battle. Glory to God. Amen. And so listen, listen to this. It says this. Then the men of David swore to him saying, you shall go out no more with us to battle, lest you quench the lamp of Israel. And so in other words, they're telling David that, listen, uh, you have done your time. We're going to retire you from active battle. No, you still, you still the man. But we're going to retire you from you, 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 hey, listen, you're in the Hall of Fame, brother. <laughs> Amen. You ain't got to come back out here and try to prove nothing. Glory to God. Amen. You ain't got to prove nothing to nobody. Amen. We got you. We understand. You a Hall of Famer. <laughs> Amen. You, 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 the, you the goat. You started all this. Amen. And so we're, we're going to retire you. We got it from here. You have trained us. You taught us. You showed us. And we got it from here. You, you, you stay back. Come on. This is what his men is telling him. Hallelujah. Amen. And so again, it's important to understand what's going on here. I'm still talking about irregular and abnormal. And I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Follow this now. He says this. Verse 18. Now it happened. Afterward. That there was again a battle with the Philistine at God. And so here it is again, amen, that there is still enough. And so Goliath has been killed, amen. Now this, 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 this second Philistine uh, uh, giant has been killed. And all of a sudden, there's another war with the Philistine. And so the Philistines just keep on coming. <laughs> oh, God. So what's important about that? Amen. We getting there. I, I, I hope y'all follow me this morning. Amen. Cause, 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 cause we, we, we gonna, we gonna, we get, we, we get ready to, 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 to go in in a few. <laughs> Amen. So, so follow me now. Listen. Verse eighteen. Now it happened afterward that there was again a battle with the Philistine at God. Then Sibachai, the Hushethite, killed Sam. So now Saf <laughs> been taken out. Who was Saf? Who was one of the sons of the giant? <laughs> Amen. There's another one. Somebody say there, there, there goes another one. Amen. Verse 19. Again, there was a war at God with the Philistines where Elhenan, the son of Jer Jeri, Orgum, the Bethlehemite killed the brother of Goliath, the Hittite. The shaft of whose spear was like a weaver's beam. And so once again, here comes uh, 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 El Hedon, amen, taking out another one. Now, and so not only did he just kill another son of the giant, but he killed the brother, <laughs> amen, of Goliath. Amen. And so it says that, his, the, that the shaft of his spear was like a weaver's beam. In other words, it was like a javelin. Amen. A weaver's beam. Amen. In other words, sharp, you know, like a needle, whatever. Weaver, weave, weave, verb. Amen. A weaver's beam, but it, it's like a javelin. Amen. It's, it's, it's how that thing is described. So there goes another one. Amen. Again, this may not be good to you just yet. Amen. Or it may not even be good to you in the end. But feel me. Stick with me. Listen, listen to this. Verse 20. Amen. Yet again, <laughs> there was a war at Gath where there was a man of great stature who had six fingers on each hand and six toes on each foot. 24 in number. And he also was born to the giant. My God. Amen. To the giant. Now, so, 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 so. We have at 
at least three of these that we know were going to the giant. Amen. Now, we know Goliath's brother, it doesn't say that he was born to the giant. But we know at least three of these was born to the giant. And again, that may not sound like much to anyone. But the thing that I would ask us is, as we read here in the 20th verse, do you know of anyone that was born with an extra digit? Amen. Do you know of anyone? You see, because if you can see mine, I was born with 12. <laughs> 12 fingers. Amen. And yeah, they cut them off as a child. But there are people that were born with 12 toes. And again, that may not sound like much. But the thing that I'm trying to get us to understand, and I'm going to read this again, and then I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping we can, we can grab it. Verse 20. Yet again, there was war at Gath, where there was a man of great stature who had six fingers on each hand and six toes on each foot, 24 in number. And he also was born to the giant. Okay. Irregular... <laughs> Abnormal, amen, irregular and abnormal. What are you trying to tell us? Listen to this now. Irregular means not conforming to the established rule. Irregular, irregular, irregular. Irregular means not conforming to the established rules, patterns, methods, principles. Not conforming to these things. That's what it means to be irregular. Once again, not conforming to established rules, patterns, methods, or principles. Glory to God. Amen. The word abnormal, that word means to deviate from the standard. <laughs> Amen. It means to deviate from the standard. It means not usual. Not usual. It means not normal. It's abnormal. It's not normal. Okay, let's go a little further. Amen. Now, again, I, 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 I can't speak for everybody, amen, but, I, but, but for me, glory to God, amen, I remember shopping, amen, uh, 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 and, and, and going to, I ain't going to mention names of, certain, of, of these stores, but certain stores you go to, amen, they say that it's, you know, some stuff you get, they say it's irregular, <laughs> Amen. And so I'm going in and I maybe bought a pair of pants and I'm like, man, these pants fit. They do good. And then by the time you get them home and you really start looking over them, you'll find out that one of the pants legs may be wider than the other. <laughs> or one of the pants legs may be a little shorter than the other. Or maybe you just say, well, I'm just going to get me some socks, amen, from one of these particular stores, amen. And it, it may say on the pack, irregular. Amen. And you get home and you put these socks on and one sock longer than the other. Amen. Or the front of the toe is turned sideways. It's, it, it's just a little, it, it's just a little regular. Amen. It's just a little abnormal. Glory to God. Amen. And so it's nothing wrong with wearing something that may be abnormal or irregular. Come on, somebody. Amen. And you, and so you, maybe you still ain't getting it yet now. But, 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 see, these giants were irregular. These giants were abnormal. Amen. Because God had created humanity, amen, to have five, amen, fingers on one hand. This, this thing, you see, listen, 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 listen. So 12, amen, or anything other than five on, on each limb, amen, was considered abnormal or irregular. Amen. And so you so I'm now I'm dealing with this with this with this 20th verse. Amen. And just like I said, even I was born with some extra digits. Amen. So what I'm telling us is the thing about me and born with these extra digits, amen, is a residual of what happened long before me. <laughs> Are we understanding? And so what I'm trying to tell us, amen, if we don't begin to deal with some things early on, amen, it will continue to affect us the rest of our life. Amen. And not just our life, but those that come after us. Glory to God. Amen. And so again, abnormal. Amen. Irregular. And so these particular 
limbs, amen, or, or, or these digits, amen, was a representation of irregular and abnormal. In other words, it taught, this is a reminder that the sons of God, these giants, or these angels, were having children with the women of God, uh, or, or with God's women, amen, or with humanity's uh, women. Glory to God. Amen. It's a reminder. Amen. It shouldn't have been. Why? Because it got away from the usual. It got away from the standards of God. Come on, somebody. Amen. It got away from the usual standard. It got away from the pattern that God had already ordained. God had already given them an established pattern. But they decided to do something else. And now David is still fighting against these giants. Come on, somebody. Amen. But David has made a decision to fight. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. And begin to, 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 to come against these giants. Amen. Maybe, maybe that didn't get you excited. But see, the thing that I'm trying to tell us is this. Amen. Is that these, these, these giants were coming against the house of Israel. Amen. They were coming against the children of Israel. They were coming against Israel. And so what are you talking about? I'm trying to tell us right now today that as believers, as Christians, we got to know that there is still some stuff that's coming up against us. Amen. And so, but what has happened is, amen, we begin to let what is abnormal or what is irregular look regular. <laughs> amen. We begin to be all right with some um, abnormal. We begin to be all right with some irregular. Glory to God, somebody. Amen. But David said, no, 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 no. I'm going to set a precedence of fighting against those, th those giants. Okay, maybe we don't understand still. Amen. What am I telling you? I'm telling us that right now today there are still some giants, amen, that are coming against Israel, that are coming against the house of God, that are coming against those of us who say we believe. Amen. And, and unfortunately, there are many of us who are okay, amen, or say it's okay. Or oh, it's all right. Or oh, we on the bandwagon. Okay? And, and so, because, listen. They had this thing they call pride. <laughs> Not too long ago. Amen. And this thing has become, amen. It, it got its own time on the schedule. Amen. But what I'm telling us is that we are literally celebrating sin. And so we have made sin normal. We have made that which is abnormal normal. We have made that which is irregular regular. And we, and we as Christians are saying, it's okay. Amen. But I'm here to tell you, as David, amen, I am a man that is fighting against that giant. Not just, not just that, but against sin. Because the same thing happens if, if, if that's the case, then we ought to have a month for, a, a man the pedophile. We ought to have a month for the drunkard. We ought to have a month or a week, amen, for, 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 for the, uh, 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 the, the hormone, amen. We ought to have a week for, for, for the, uh, for the, every, we ought, we ought to have a great American smoke out for those who like to smoke, amen. We ought to have opioid, uh, we, because it's all sin. Are we hearing this? Irregular, abnormal. Listen, it's not conforming to the established pattern, amen, or the established rules. God has placed some rules. Yes. There is a standard of living. Huh. Glory to God. There is a way we ought to live this life. There is a standard. Hallelujah. And again, that which is irregular or abnormal, we become desensitized. We don't want to fight against it. Amen. We don't want to be known as the one that's controversial. We don't want to be known as the one that's, 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 that's an outsider. Amen. We like to go along to get along. Amen. But I'm here to tell you that David started something. Amen. And I refuse to let what David started, amen, go to waste. Amen. I refuse to allow, amen, sin to be normal. Amen. I, I refuse to allow. Amen. Because listen, the thing you got to understand about the, the giants, amen, before the flood, amen, that it literally meant demonic. Ah, glory to God. 
okay? What do you? How, why would you say that? What, what do you mean demonic apostle? What are you trying? I'm telling us that those angels were cast down because they came against God. Amen. And so they were connected with Lucifer. Amen. The devil, the demons. Amen. And so because they were connected with him, they represent demonic. Amen. And so now you have a demonic or demon sleeping with women. Glory to God. And so David said, hey, I'm coming up against wickedness. I'm coming up against uh, the demonic activity. Amen. And so what I'm telling us is I'm coming against sin. I'm coming up against demonic activity. I'm coming against a, a, the giants that plague the church. Amen. Who, whatever it is. Amen. Disobedience. Hallelujah. I'm coming against it. It's sin. Oh, God. It's sin. Whether it be whatever it is. I, it just happened to be the last thing that came before us. And so, again, I know I've heard it. Well, he got a problem with homosexuality. Yeah, I do. Amen. I still love you. Amen. But I got a problem with that. But I got a problem with all sin. Amen. And that's why I'm striving to be better in my own life. I'm not. I'm, I, I am not uh, 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 without sin. Amen. How do I know? The scripture tell me I'm not. <laughs> Amen. But I'm striving. Glory to God. Amen. And so like David, amen, like he has trained up and taught some people, amen, I have the sight, glory to God, amen, that I'm going to fight. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to go alone to get alone. I'm not going to be high five and sin, amen. I'm not going to be, amen, uh, 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 endorsing the things of sin, amen. I'm going to fight, hallelujah. Because those things, amen, that abnormal, that if those uh, 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 abnormalities, amen, those irregularities, amen, they, they, they're irregular. <laughs> they, go, they, they, they go against the things of God. They go against the pattern that God has set out for us. Amen. Listen, I'm still in verse 20. Listen to this. Yet again, there was war and gap. Where there was a man of great stature. Now, I don't say how big he was. It just say great stature. Amen. Who had six fingers on each hand and six toes on each foot. Twenty-four in, uh, in number. And he was also born to the giant. Amen. He was also born to the giant. And so sometimes we'd be like, well, Pastor, I don't, I, don't, I don't quite understand what you're trying to say. I don't really understand what you're trying to get to. So why would the Bible feel a need to tell us about his digits, about how many he had, uh, 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 that it was 24 in number? Amen. And so the thing that I'm telling us is there's some significance in that. Amen. There's some significance that telling us, amen, that these things, amen, are a representation of the giant. Amen. That these things are abnormal. Amen. This is not meant to be the normal. Glory to God. Amen. And yeah, we have people all around us that have these digits. Amen. I'm not saying that they are demonic. But what I am saying, amen, is that, amen, this is a reminder. Amen. For those that know the story, this is a reminder of us. Amen. If we don't deal with some stuff before, amen, that that stuff going to follow us. Glory to God. Amen. That that stuff is going to be in it. Because sometimes we think, well, I just sin. Okay, God forgave me. It's over with. No, that thing, that, that thing still got, 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 got some, uh, 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 some, some trails. It still got some underlying current. It still may be running up uh, underneath the, 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 uh, the, the land. It still may be in the stream somewhere. Amen. And, and so, so the thing that I'm telling us is that, yeah, David came up against these things. And so, but, but, but what that tells us, amen, is that, David was trying to make it better for us. <laughs> is that he was trying to make it better for us. Amen. And so, again, and so life is better. Life is better. Amen. But we're still fighting against some giants. Amen. We may can't look on it like David did. But we're still fighting against the giants. Amen. Uh, that, that the world says is regular. Amen. I'm telling you, it is nothing to turn on the TV. Amen. And see stuff that's abnormal and irregular. Amen. Uh, uh, oh, uh, what 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 a uh, 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 what a family is supposed to look like? That's abnormal. It's irregular. Amen. Some of the stuff that we see, that you know, everything you see, they 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 they, they, they gotta make sure that they try to desensitize and try to get you away from uh, 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 thinking that it's that something's wrong with that. 
Amen. Or something's wrong with that. I'm talking, listen, and I, again, I'm talking about sin, period. Wherever you want to put it at, sin, it's sin. Glory to God. Amen. I'm just talking about sin now. So again, if, if you feel like you fit in whatever category, whatever, I'm talking about that. Glory to God. Amen. Or whoever may fit in the category. Amen. Wherever I fit. Glory to God. Me too. It's sin. It goes against. Amen. What God has established as normal. What God has established as regular. If it goes against that, it's sin. Amen. I hope we understand what I'm saying. Glory to God. And so irregular, abnormal. Amen. We have to begin to deal with those things. Because it's only going to make it better for our children. Amen. Or for the generations to come. If we, listen, the reason why we're dealing with some of the stuff we're dealing with now, amen, is because uh, people were in the closet. Amen. And those that, and some of us knew that they was in the closet and we like, well, I ain't gonna talk about it. They don't say nothing. We ain't gonna. And so we just left it alone. We just let it stay. We just let everything rest. And it's getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. Why? Because we don't deal with it. But I'm telling you, David said, I'm gonna deal with it. And he taught some men to deal with it. Amen. And so we got to be willing to deal with some stuff. Glory to God. I hope we're hearing this thing today. Amen. We got to be willing to deal with some. We got to be willing to fight. We got to be willing to stand on godly principles. We got to be willing to say, God, for you I live and for you I die. I, I, will, I will not call abnormal normal. Amen. I will not say it's okay. Amen. I'm not going to stand. I'm, I'm, I refuse. I refuse, I, I outright refuse to call what is a, a right, a, a wrong right. <laughs> Amen. I hope we understand what I'm saying today. Amen. Irregular and abnormal. Listen to this. Amen. Verse 21, it says, so when he defiled Israel, Jonathan, the son of uh, Shemaiah, Amen. David's brother, Killed him. Amen. In other words, David's nephew. <laughs> Amen. David's nephew killed this giant. And so we, listen. David has started something, y'all. Amen. Are we willing to start something? Are we willing to stand up? Amen. And fight for what is right. Amen. Are we afraid that people don't want to uh, hear us? Are we afraid that people want to attend our, 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 our services? Amen. Because we begin to talk about sin and about repentance and about getting right with God. Amen. We've lost those things. Amen. What we, 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 we begin to talk about, amen, again, sin. And that sin is wrong. It's not okay. Amen. We, we live in a time where we say, well, it's 50 shades of gray. Amen. But God says it's black and white. Period. Amen. You're hot or cold. <laughs> Hallelujah. Black or white? No 50 shades of gray. Irregular. Abnormal. Amen. These things need to be killed. Glory to God. Again, I'm not talking about no clothing. I'm not talking about, a, 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 again, a, 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 a curtain that's leaning. <laughs> Amen. Irregular, you, you, you know what I'm talking about. Irregular, you know, them stores. <laughs> amen. And so, amen, or oh, well, one shoe, amen, kind of point in. <laughs> amen. Or the eye, or the eyelid on the shoe, amen, didn't, wasn't punched all the way through. So you get home, you got to put a hole in there yourself. Amen. That's how, you know, I, 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 maybe it's only me that shop like that. Amen. But irregular. Glory to God. Amen. And so but when it comes to the things of God, he's telling us that this thing of irregular and abnormal needs to be killed. Sin needs to be dealt with. Glory to God. How do you know? Listen to this. Verse 22. These four were born to the giant in Gath and fell by the hand of David and by the hand of his servants. And so it's telling us, amen, that these giants need to fall. Will it be? Will it fall by the children of God? Will it fall by, amen, those of us that are willing to stand up and fight? But it needs to fall. Glory to God. Irregular and abnormal. Amen. Sin needs to fall. We And we need to be willing to address it. We need to be willing to stand up. Amen. And say, I'm here to fight. Amen. Now, do I believe that there has, there's been some before us, amen, that have chose to fight? I do. 
Because I know that even David got, got, got weary, got faint. And was and was exposed, but somebody came to the rescue. And so, but they picked it up and kept on running. And so I'm here to pick it up to whoever it was that was standing up against this thing. And I'm willing to keep on running. Is anybody else with me today? Is anybody else willing to stand up? Is anybody else willing to fight and say that sin is not okay? Amen. That the things that are contrary to, 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 to the established rules of God is not okay. Once again, this is Apostle Chauncey Craig of Discipling Ministries, the place where we're not concerned about a building, but the building of a people. I love you and praying God's best concerning you. Peace.